Have you ever been told never ever borrow against your 401k? Were you taught this by your parents? Did some financial advisor tell you that? Did you really ask why? In my opinion, borrowing against a 401k or a TSP can be a good call in certain situations, mostly when the money is needed quickly and the repayment period is short, like, wait for it, an emergency. Hey, you know what? happens. Life changes, usually when you least expect it and are least prepared for it. Stick with me and I'll give you the ins and outs of 401k loans, when it makes the most sense, and why you shouldn't follow old outdated advice. Colin Exelby here, and I'm a certified financial planner professional with over 20 years of experience providing financial planning for business owners and their families that just make sense. I own the financial advisory practice Celestial Wealth Management and provide advice virtually to clients all over the country. Thanks for everybody for your comments. I do read them all and I try to respond whenever I can and I love the comment from two weeks ago that was talking about this set and how it looks like between two ferns with Zach Galifianakis. Well, these are not two ferns back behind me. These guys are Dracaenas and they're a lot easier to maintain. Anyway, back to the video. 401k, thrift savings plans and solo 401ks are incredible wealth building plans for retirement and come with some tremendous tax incentives to do it. But in the real world, we sometimes need the money before retirement. This is a good spot to point out important disclosures. The information in this video is for educational purposes. This is not specific financial planning or investment advice. In addition, everyone's tax situation is different. You should discuss your tax situation with a qualified tax advisor before implementing any planning strategy. There are three ways to take money out of your company retirement plan. A loan, a hardship withdrawal, and a straight up distribution. If you do take a distribution, 20% is automatically withheld for taxes and you will pay a 10% penalty unless you are over the age of 59 and a half or using the 72T exception. Let's not do that. If you do need to withdraw money from the 401k, you're probably going to want to choose the loan option assuming it's available. With some 401ks, especially smaller ones, the loan option is not even an option. It's best to first check if it's available long before you may need it. But let's assume it is. Congress thought it was a good idea to allow participants to take loans instead of withdrawals, but they did put some limits on accessing the funds. With a loan, you will be able to take out the maximum of either half of your vested balance or $50,000, whichever is less. How does the loan work? You borrow against your balance, no strings attached, no credit check, no why are you using this money, nothing. And that can really speed up access to the funds in an emergency. There are no closing costs like in a home equity line of credit, home equity loan, traditional mortgage, so they can be a lot cheaper to obtain. Now typically, the loan must be repaid within five years, so don't borrow more than you can afford to pay back during that loan term, and don't default on the payments. You can also choose to pay it off early by increasing the amount or the number of payments. The loan will have a stated interest rate, and that interest rate is amortized over the life of the loan. The rate is typically prime plus about 1%, so it's a pretty attractive rate compared to many alternatives like high interest credit cards. In today's environment, that's around 4 to 5%. But the kicker is that when you pay the interest, you are paying it back to yourself not the 401k provider and not a lender like a bank or a credit card. That is a big advantage. So the bad news is that you have to pay interest. The good news is that you receive the interest, not a bank. So it's basically a wash. What happens to your investments when you borrow from them? When you borrow from the 401k, those funds are no longer in the investments in your 401k. 
So the opportunity cost is whatever those funds would have earned while you have the loan outstanding. It works out real well if you borrow funds just before the stock market tanks because you then pay back the funds when the market is lower. Thinking deeper about this, the ideal time to borrow money from a 401k is when the economy is good and your investments have done really well. Of course, you never know when emergencies will happen. In addition, you want to try and maintain your normal 401k contributions if you can, at least up to the matching limit. Most 401ks or the thrift savings plan offer a nice match of free money up to a certain percentage. If at all possible, you want to continue contributions at least up to the matching limit to continue receiving that free money even when you have a loan outstanding. How do you pay it back? It's automatically deducted from your paycheck. So it's pretty easy to automate your repayment plan according to your cash flow. You can pay it back over the five years in equal installments, or you can pay it back in a lump sum by withholding large amounts of your pay. Something to be aware of is that if you leave your job or are terminated, your loan balance could be immediately due. Often you typically have to repay all outstanding loan balances within 60 days or else it is counted as a distribution for tax purposes. It's good to know the rules of your specific plan well before potentially needing the funds. Here's something you want to know about the loan interest. When you pay the loan interest into the plan, you don't get a deduction for it like a normal contribution and you will pay taxes on those funds when they come back out later on in life. So there is a small tax drag on the interest portion of the loan. In essence, you're taxed twice on that money. You're taxed when you earn the money and then you pay the interest into the plan and then you're taxed again when you take that money out later on in life. I've sometimes heard advisors say that you shouldn't do 401k loans because you are doubly taxed on the money when you put it back in. But that is bad information. The principal you take out and then repay is not doubly taxed. You got the deduction on the way in and are just putting those funds back. In reality, you are only doubly taxed on the loan interest portion, which is typically small. All right, so when are times that you should consider using 401k funds? In a recent video, I discussed how much of an emergency fund you need. This is directly related to your access to 401k funds. If you missed that video, make sure you like this video and smash the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I release a new planning and investment video and you don't miss any. If you are willing to access a 401k loan in an emergency, then you don't need to keep as much sitting in low yielding checking and savings accounts, not building wealth. Emergencies are just that, emergencies. They don't happen often. So ideally the money is invested for retirement and grows over 95% of the time. But in an emergency, you can easily access up to $50,000 if needed. 401k loans have some of the lowest interest rates around. So if you have accumulated a significant amount of high interest credit card debt, paying it off with a 401k loan could help you get back on track, but only, and I mean only, if you don't run the credit card up again and you work to pay off the 401k loan as soon as possible. If you were married and one spouse lost a job, the other spouse could access funds from their 401k through the loan to bridge your finances until the other spouse finds work again. This is often a much better option than accessing credit cards or a home equity loan because the interest rate is often lower and you are paying it to yourself rather than the bank or credit card company. If you have medical expenses that you weren't prepared for or a significant auto or large home maintenance expense, it may make sense to access a 401k loan to pay for the expenses and then work to pay it back as soon as possible. Lastly, you may be looking into buying a home. Taking a loan for the down payment on a home may be a smart move. If the funds allow you to avoid primary mortgage insurance to get you to that 20% down or otherwise qualify, it can be a really good use of the funds. While your funds will not be invested in the markets until they are paid back, they are now invested in the home that you purchased. 
If you aren't using the funds to stretch into a home that you really can't afford, this can be a good strategy as long as you work hard to pay back the funds as soon as possible so they can start working again for your retirement. These are a few different times where taking a 401k loan can make a lot of sense. In many of my videos, I aim to challenge conventional thinking. Conventional thinking is to never, ever borrow money from a 401k unless you have no other choice. I think that is outdated and poorly understood advice. A 401k loan can be very beneficial to your financial situation in the right circumstances as I outlined. Have you taken a 401k loan already? Why did you take it? How did it work out for you? I would love to hear about your experience in the comments. And if you love to invest in your own financial future, make sure you invest some time to watch these videos next to supercharge your financial future. Get clear, be clear.